Okay, Math 1, Unit 8, Section 1, and we're going to talk about dot plots. So dot plots is a way to visualize some data and show how often something happens. So normally we draw a little horizontal line here, a number line, and I'm only going to care about the numbers that we have listed. So we see that I have some 4s, a 5, a 6, and a bunch of 7s. So on my dot plot, I'm going to put 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay. Now for the actual dot part of the problem, I'm going to put um, the number of times something happens above each one. So for above the 4, I'm going to put 3 dots. 1, 2, 3. And I did 3 because I have 1, 2, 3, 4s. For the 5, I'm going to put one dot. Oh, I can cross him out over there. The six, I'm going to put one dot, and then I can cross him out. And the seven, I'm going to put four dots. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there we are. There's our dot plot. So we can read this and we can say, well, judging by this thing here, there are four sevens. And judging by this one, there's one six, one five, and three fours. That's how you would read that. All right, moving on to number two, hours slept. So again, I'm going to just go ahead and do a little, um, I don't know how I want to do that. I'll just do the circles like I did last time. I have two sixes, four sevens, and three eights. So I'm just going to have my little number line again. I'm just going to use the numbers 6, 7, and 8. If you wanted to add a 5, you're welcome to. You just won't put a dot above it, right? So 6, I put 2 dots above the 6. The 7, I put 4 dots above them. And then the 8, I'm going to put 3 dots. All right. And there's our dot plot. Hopefully that's not, not too crazy. All right, number three. Now this one, the, um, the data is given to us in a different way. And I just want to say, I know some of these are real names that are listed here, um, but I don't necessarily know that the age or the, the data here is correct. But it's meant to model data that, that we could have in real life. All right, this isn't necessarily correct data. I didn't go and check it. All right, so right away, we're just going to be looking at the age. We don't care about their names at all. We just care about the, the ages that they've got listed here. So I'm going to need to have my number line. I'm going to start off with 34, and I'm going to be going up to 64. All right, I'm going to count by, what do I want to count by? Well, here's 34, and I want 64 to be over here. Um, what would go right in the middle? 30, 40. Here I could say, well, this is going to be 44, and here's going to be 54. All right, that looks really ugly. I'm going to erase that and I'm going to rewrite all of them back in there so they look a little bit nicer. All right, I start off with 38, don't I? Yes, or 34, 34, 34, 36, 38, 40. 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64. All right. I'm sorry. That took a little while. Now I'm just going to put a dot on each one. So I'll start off with the upper left corner, the 34. Here's my first dot. And I like to cross them off after I do it. That way I know I've already put a dot down for that one. 
Um, 39, I'm just going to list between the 38 and the 40. I'm not going to make a dot for it or a, a tally for it. You could if you want to. You can write that there if that makes you feel better. Um, and the 42, 45, which would be right there, 50, 52, another 52, no 58, no 59, a 60, and a 64. All right, and there's our dot, um, what do we call these? Our dot plot. Um, I know that this data here, it's also, we're able to see that this data, it doesn't make as much sense to make a dot plot, right? Um, up here, we can see, well, all the data is kind of together. And you can kind of see, well, really quickly, I can see, well, a lot of people sleep seven hours a night, right? Because we're talking about hours slept. The seven is the highest one. You can see that the most people sleep seven hours a night. And then you can see, well, the next up is eight. And then the next up is, is six, right? You can kind of see that this, this data works really well with a dot plot. Um, the ages, while you're able to make a dot plot, and while we, we did make a dot plot, it doesn't make as much sense, right? Because the only one that repeats at all is 52. So maybe making the dot plot, you could point out to someone, well, they're all different, and maybe that's valuable. But um, yeah, it's, it's still us, us exercising our way that we can make dot plots. All right, next one. This is a similar scenario. We have our names over here. And again, I don't know that these are real names. Um, we don't really care about their names at all. We're looking at their age. So I'm going to make my long dot plot. I'm going to start off at 39 and I'll end at 80. You know what? I'm going to have 39 and then I'm going to have 40. And then I'm going to count by twos like I did last time. So I'll have 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, how high do I have to go? I need to go up to 80. 76, 78, 80. And that worked out pretty perfectly. All right, um, and there's no necessarily correct way to do our axis there. You could have counted by one, you could have counted by fives. It doesn't really matter. Um, whenever you have multiple choice problems, it'll already be done for you, which will be kind of nice. All right, first one is 39. I'll put a dot above the 39. 45, I'll put a dot above the 45 spot. I'll go ahead and cross those off. 48, and then 50, 51, 53, 57, 63, 68, 73, and 80. And there we are. This one, we can see that no one repeated. Um, there's no there's no spot with two dots above it, right? All right. Now, as I get done with this, you might be saying, well, Mr. Carrington, this is really silly. Why are we learning this? Um, there are lots of problems similar to these, talking about dot plots and different charts on standardized tests that you have to take. Um, so this helps you to score well on those, knowing these different charts. All of this chapter is about, or all of this unit, is about different kinds of charts and data and how we can look at data and answer questions about it. So that's why we're doing this. All right. That's it. Bye-bye.